How's it going again, guys? Liam here from Carrie and Liam. Uh, we're going to another swap meet today. This one is in Saskatoon, our hometown. And I'm sorry to come at you guys with another swap meet video coming up so soon, but they're kind of, most of them are kind of in this season. Uh, so we'll show you guys around what we're going to buy. My holy grail that I want to find today is what was uh, what I lost at the Red Deer one, which was a four barrel spread bore intake manifold for a Dodge 318. I think that when I'm on my parental leave here soon, that I'm going to be working on the Dodge van and redoing it a bit because it'll the tiny house build will be largely done for now. And so the van will have a break, so it's a good time to rebuild stuff on the van. So uh, I want an intake manifold for it that I could probably put that thermo quad. That's what I'll be looking out for. If we find maybe another four barrel intake manifold for a big block for the tiny house, we might pick it up because the one I bought is for a square bore, which I didn't think about when I was, I didn't notice, I guess. And I, I think when I was looking at it, I was thinking maybe I could drill the holes out a little bit bigger, but there's not enough material in the casting for that. So, uh, but we might end up using it anyway. There's adapters to adapt square bore to spread bore. And there's lots of room under the hood of the tiny house truck to do that. But yeah, today, uh, holy grail item we're looking for, Dodge 318 spread bore intake manifold. We'll see what other stuff we find, um, but yeah. We'll come at you guys again once we're back at the swap meet. Bye for now. Needle? Yeah. Need a paint job. Inside looks pretty good. Wow, it's cute.
I guess we'll have to go around. All right, guys, second ever swap meet. All right, guys, second ever swap meet. I did not find my holy grail of finding a small block spread for intake manifold. Uh, and overall, I would say prices seemed kind of high here in Saskatoon compared to Red Deer. Smaller market, I guess. Often things are like that in Saskatchewan. But I did find some pretty decent deals for stuff that I was like, oh, I could use this maybe, or just like tools and stuff. What I do with the swap meet typically is I typically go, I've, this is what I've done the last two times typically, is I go around first and look for car parts because those are the most specific things that I need. Uh, and then afterwards I look for tools, antiques, toys kind of thing. But uh, let's show you what I got here. So as you guys will remember, last time I uh, bought an armrest, but it wasn't the correct one for my Valiant. A guy had the entire thing for 15 bucks and it's not the right color, but he said it's from a 69 Dart, and I'm pretty sure this is the correct one, even though I didn't have the other one to compare it with. So I just have to like spray this in the correct color kind of thing. And I bought this partially as well, because the guy had 69 Dart hubcaps, free with purchase over $5, $15. I got four pretty nice hubcaps for my Valiant. Uh, granted, they're, they look, I think the Valiant ones look very similar to this. Um, they would, they would match close enough, so some Valiant parts, which is great. And let's see what else I got here. Uh, late in the game, I got, this guy had this dwell meter for $5, and I don't have a dwell meter. Nice to have one in case I still decide to run points on something. And he also had a circulating block heater because I do not like being cold in my car in the morning. And this is a retro one. He had a newer one, but I liked the retro one. It might need a rebuild or something, but yep, nice to have. Might install it in the in the van or maybe even in the blue car, I'm not sure. So we got those. And then from my acquaintance Sean, who's a big Dodge guy in the city here, he had at his table selling uh, for some, some pretty cheap items. And this stuff, I don't have an exact purpose for it, but it was cheap. This is a thermo quad for $20. Nice to have an extra one. But this one is not in good shape. As you can see, it's pretty corroded around here. This is the smaller primaries one, so it'd be good for a fuel economy build, maybe for the van. But uh, it's possible that this one will just be for parts because this stuff is pretty seized up. You can see some pretty serious aluminum corrosion. But, you know, its fuel bowl also looks fine. So, you know, parts kind of thing. So we have this. And then I also got another newer, like 90s Chrysler stereo. This was five bucks. So I was going to put one of these in the van to replace its AM stereo. It's very hard to find like original AM FM stereos, but the later 90s ones are fit into the same hole and are FM, which is nice to have. But anyway, guys, that's the haul for this swap meet. This is the last swap meet that we plan to go to for the season. We have some other conventions and stuff that we're probably going to go to. If you guys are interested in that type of content, remember to like and subscribe, and we'll continue to make it if you guys are interested. All right, bye for now.
customers already. Like with the truck though. emblem on this one that you can see so maybe from an earlier 40s Dodge. I like the flag. <laughs> it's a lot like the one I used to have. <laughs> 